welcome everybody. Gaming Mike here, along with Venuto Man and AC Gamer. Welcome, fellas. Hi. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks for coming along today for this uh, very new episode of Jolt. Uh, the monthly or weekly or bi-monthly weekly game news gamecast where we talk about game news we're doing it on the Geknip gang channel today so welcome to those tuned into the Geknip gang channel thanks for joining us and thank you fellas for uh joining me for uh some lovely gameplay and game news we're gonna we're gonna explore the Geknip gang hub and we're gonna talk about uh recent game news sounds good yeah yeah do it let's do it Great. Now, AC Gamer, did you have any luck getting your save updated? Or does it give you any options for updating your save? AC Gamer hasn't played since, what, before next update? Uh, since August. Since August. So, yeah, I don't think... I think you have a pre-next save, and that's why it's not letting you... Um... Oh, it just said you entered the system, though. Did it load? Yeah, I figured it out. I had to log into my um, single-player game, and that... Trick. Nice. Okay. That's great. That's great. Welcome to it, Kendall Southwick, Richard Huntington, Grammy Shardvixen, all those tuning in. Thanks for joining us. For Jolt. Uh oh, is Venuto Man's I'm screen here. frozen? Uh, uh, oh, no, it's not. It's just when I tab out, it freezes. Oh, okay. Okay. You're tabbed out. I was just making sure we're still running clear. Everything look good, sound good out there, audience? Let me know, please. Oh, uh, it's been a while since we've done a community event. Uh, Grammy Shardvix, a nice ship you've got here. She's got an S-Class fighter. She's in the game with me. Oh, nice. Little purple geckling Grammy Shardvixen. Shardvixen, you want to be my wingman today while you uh, while we explore and chat? That'd be great. We can fly together. Um, I'm going to hop in my ship. So I'm in the capital system of the Geknip Gang Hub. We do have a region of space. I'm going to pull up the the galactic map here just as soon as I can fly out. Venuto Man's also in the Geknip Gang Hub. He's at the GNG Hotel Planet system, right? Yep, I'm here. And so AC Gamer is now in game with me. It did let you join AC. We're all good to go. Yep, I'm flying around just outside the space station. Awesome, awesome. Oh, look, I've got the. I gotta fix something on the stream really quick. I got the dang chat in the dang wrong dang place. Dang it. <laughs> It's covering my window screen, and you can't see a dang diddly darn thing. Oh, I know why. Fixed. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so, yeah, this is the Sav Jazz 21 system on PS4. Now, I'm on PS4. Venuto Man's on P uh, PC. I almost said PS3, uh, but that's not accurate. <laughs> and... Amazing. Yeah, so I've done a fair amount of exploring of the region up in this area, just up above and um, away from the center a bit in the region. I've got a lot of white circles surrounding mine. Oop. That's stuff I have explored, but we're going to go for new stuff today. I just booped you, Mike. <laughs> you just booped me? Oh, I'm in my galactic map. Hold on. You and your ship? You booping yep. me in ships? Let me switch views. Mike Young, welcome to it. Jolt is back, sir. Jolt is back. Mike Young says he thought it was canceled. I see you, AC. I see you booping me. Oop. Let's see if we can... Oh, wait. It's Where are you going? You got there. Uh, but AC, as somebody who hasn't played since August, what do you think of the state of the game at this point? There's been the next update, the Abyss update, and the Visions update, I think, since August, right? Or was next before August? I'm not sure. Uh, on that. No, I, I believe I, I have checked out the next update, but um, not nay on the Abyss and the Visions. I don't know what the deal is with those. Okay. I'm, I'm bl okay. flying blind. Yeah, you might like to check out the Oceans. There's a lot more to do in the Oceans now uh, with the Abyss update. And then Visions just uh, added a lot to anomalous planets, so we should... Oh, maybe we can find one of those. I don't remember if there is one in the Sav Jazz system, but if we see an anomalous planet, that'd be great. Do you have uh, warp capabilities, AC Gamer? Are you ready to do some warping if we need to? Yep, yeah, sure do. Let me make okay. sure i got plenty of fuel. Oh, a bounty. Did that pop up for you just now? How synced up is this multiplayer? I don't even know. <laughs> But I'm going to go fight this 200k bounty. Three stars. Why not? You are Godsmacked. Welcome to it. Thanks for joining us. So we do have a bunch of game news to talk about. What kind of articles do we have to talk about today, fellas? We got some 
PC gaming news. We got some PlayStation news. We got some Nintendo news. A little bit of Xbox news. How you feeling about it? Y'all ready to start uh, yeah. digging into it? Do we just want to go uh, platform by platform? or? Well, uh, we could start at the top of that list with the first one you put in there about uh, Wildcard. We can just go down the list. I'll be fine with that. We were posting this, of course, in the Gecknip Gang Discord server. There's a link in the description to join us there. That's where we do a lot of our chatting off stream. That's where we've got these links posted for all the news articles we're going to talk about today. So feel free to join us there. Post your own. Check out what we're talking about a little more in depth. But yeah, let's talk about that first one you got there. Yeah. V-Man. They're just talking about Atlas apologize, or really, Wildcard apologizing for Atlas's rocky start. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was pretty rocky. They talk about yeah, Atlas is... It's been out for a few weeks, yeah, and it, uh, it's uh, it's the new game from Wildcard, who are the makers of Ark, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're and they're, they're pretty much just yeah. apologizing because they they didn't expect this influx of people, and it just they didn't expect that many people to play their game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just Whoops! Overloaded the crap out of them. Oh yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's smoothed out a bit. We do have a few people even in the Gecknip gang that are playing it. A lot of the people that enjoyed Ark seem to be enjoying what Atlas is uh, shaping up to be. Yeah. So it seems like it's got some of the promise. Um, Definitely from of, what Sav Jazz has showed. It's, it's got huge potential. Yeah. Sav Jazz, of course, whose uh, namesake this system bears... Oh, I don't know why I landed again. I'm so used to landing after a space fight, I just automatically went to the space station. I was actually going to warp out. Is that Grammy's ship? S20 plus 6? Yeah, that's Grammy's. Oh, no, that's AC. AC, you're rocking a nice S-class fighter as well. Oh, thank you. That's, uh, that's a beauty. It's a very Star Fox. <laughs> very Star Fox. Classic retro look. Oh, I'm all about it. <laughs> Scorch EXE, welcome to it. Mike Young says, Atlas looks good, but I'm not sure PvP will be easy for new players to get started. Yeah, the game does seem like a big uh, a big bite to chew. If, if you've played ARC PvP, you know how brutal it's going to be. I mean, I've seen it. People get I've not played it. Wipe daily. If you're a dominating tribe on a server, that's it. You're done. You <laughs> yeah. can't get on that server because they'll just wipe you every two seconds. Oh, man. So it's going to be... <laughs> You gotta be in it to win it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks massive, though. The scope of ARC is impressive. They say, what, 40,000 players online at the same time was their claim? Yeah. I don't know if they're there yet, but uh, that's if they pull that off, that's impressive. That's impressive. All right. For those uh, playing along on PS4 right now, exploring the hub, feel free to go wherever you like. I'll tell you where I'm going. I'm going to shoot just right up from Sav Jazz, there's a yellow star. It's called uh, Dachiu Aslik. Sounds suggestive. It's got, I think, four or five planets? I didn't look. I should have looked. Sav Jazz's PvE and Atlas looked very good. Yeah, you can always check out Sav Jazz's channel and other Gecknip Gang streamers for some uh, uh, Atlas gameplay live streams. If you want to see how the game looks up close and personal, of course, those get broadcast in the now streaming the what to watch section of our discord server Gecknip gang discord server link in the description of course atlas so did their apology go over well how did that uh, pan out how was it received i think with what they improved their apology panned out because they fixed yeah. an enormous bug there with that that huge lag and everything that everyone was reporting they fixed that yeah lot lots of, of yeah so it seems it seems a lot better, especially from what I've seen, like I said, with Sav Jazz. It looks fully playable. Oh yeah, they've been playing quite a bit of it too, building ships. It's very, it's a piratey sort of, it's like Ark but pirates, right? Yep, it's basically Ark with pirates. Yeah, really I just warped into, this system turned out to be discovered by Rick and Tony, I think long ago, that's great. Shout out to uh, Tricky I Know. Uh, in the, uh, I don't know if they're here today, but uh, hopefully they'll find this stream. And looks like Zimmer found a lot of these planets. Zimmer has discovered so many bodies in this system, in this region. It's great. Anyway, sorry, not to interrupt. I got distracted by the splendor. That's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, they had a rocky start. and Everything seems to be going pretty good now. They're on the, the mending path, I suppose you could say. 
Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm about to have a space battle, but... <laughs> so I'm not going to be able... I was about to take a look at the news and see what else we got coming uh, up. The next one is Star Citizen. Oh, let's talk about that. Oh. Yeah, what's that article say? I skimmed it, but I give us the overview. But just talking about uh, when it'll be officially released. Yeah. Right. They just came out recently in the last, what, two weeks with that 3.41 alpha release. Yeah. I think that's the version it's in now. And I've been playing it. You've been playing it. Ivy Mike got us into it. Uh, Ivy Mike, also a streamer in the Gecknip gang. He uh, <laughs> he was live streaming it. and It was looking pretty good. There's There's not a whole ton of things to do in that game. But there's enough to do to log in with your friends and have a good time. Oh no! Shard Vixen died. Death by ship no. combat. I definitely like just getting into the game, getting my armor set up, hauling yeah. my ship, going to my ship, then doing a mission. I mean, it was, it was well over an hour already. Was like... it's, it's very simulator. It's a very detailed space sim, and I like that about it. And what is it? The guy behind the game used to, he, uh, he's the one that created, uh, Wing Command. AC Gamer, do we still have you in the chat? Are you still here? Yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm, uh, I'm okay. doing a little <laughs> work on my ship. Okay, making sure. Um, but yeah, the guy, he's the guy that created, uh, Wing Commander, right? The guy that's making Star Citizen? Honestly, I didn't know that. Uh, or it's the, some of the people involved with Wing Commander are involved or something like that. But Wing Commander was a fantastic space game way back when. I used to play that on, like, my old, you know, the old family IBM, like, 386 That's or awesome. something. <laughs> home computer. And I loved Wing Commander. And Star Citizen has a similar feel to it. Uh, with its simulation-ness. Yeah. And I, I just really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. The depth of detail is insane. I mean, it's... Mike Young in the chat says, Star Citizen equals for rich folks in the year 2029. Listen. <laughs> It's it's 45 bucks to get the starter pack to be able to jump in and play and do everything there is to do in that alpha release. And 45 is not it's not the cheapest for an alpha release, but it's also not the most expensive I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's manageable. I don't know. If you feel like if you if you're in the mood for a new game and a space sim sounds good, it's I don't think it'd be a, a horrible purchase. No. Um, I don't You'd even, probably enjoy it. Even in its current state, I don't think it's a horrible purchase. Yeah. But then, of course, you can, in that, you there's different pledge levels. The game is being crowdfunded. Uh, it's not released yet fully, and it's crowdfunded, and you can pledge different levels for different ships, more expensive and fantastic ships, which no. people say pay to win, people say this and that about it. And you can sink a lot of money into that game, but you don't have to. You can buy it for the price of a... Not even full price of a regular game, and be able to play it and do the stuff in it. And there's not a lot of stuff, but it's an alpha release. And yeah. they, there, everything I saw on the site was very clear about that. When I went to make the purchase, right. uh, it was very clear that it was an alpha release. I knew what I was buying for the, you know, for the price. So, so far it's the game I don't know. have like a uh, a story mode yet, right? Not yet. They're working on that, and the story mode looks very interesting. And from what I understand, I think Jillian Anderson is going to be in the story mode, plus some other um, actors that I remember being impressed about reading about when I read about it, but I don't uh, remember Mark their names. Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself. Oh, yeah, Mark a... Hamill. Because oh, wow, he was in uh, another Wing Commander game, I think. Yeah, he was in Wing Commander back in the day when they first started doing real actors in video games, too. Like, early days of that stuff. The cities, right, this... the cities they have and everything that they're building... It just seems insane. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. We've been to that uh, Loreville, right? Oh, with yeah, uh, there with Ivy Mike. Oh, you did, yeah. Junkie. Nice. Um, it's uh, it's it's huge. Yeah. It's huge. His ship. I actually um, last night went and bought that ship. Uh, cause I just oh, sweet. I couldn't help it. <laughs> which uh, which ship are you talking about? Um, look because it has a storage bay you actually exit outside the back of the ship and you can bring stuff in and drop it in the okay bay. i've seen ships like that that's cool the upgraded ship yeah i've been thinking about upgrading too it looks like uh might be a lot of fun to do so it's i like what it is i like what that game is i think it's fun to play Agreed. it's enjoyable um 
But hey, you know what else? Free games this month. Let's talk about that, shall we? Uh, because there's the PlayStation Plus free games of the month. Yeah, I've played the PlayStation free games of the month. Oh, I got a freighter battle. Okay, let me think. Oh, Steep is out this month for PlayStation uh, Plus members. That's a good one. I've played Steep before. AC Gamer, you've played Steep before. In fact, AC, I don't know if you've re-downloaded it yet or not, but I did this month if you want to hit the slopes a bit, but Oh, yeah. I haven't played that in a, <laughs> in a year. Or in a year or so. Yeah. And they've they've added a couple more DLCs since I played last that look intriguing, and it's it's as fun as ever. Doing the wingsuiting especially. I've always loved it, and it's it's no less lovable now than it has been. Uh, John Ironclade, welcome to it. Thanks for joining us. Hey, and Portal Knight, that's right. Portal Knight's another one of the uh, PlayStation Plus free games, which is actually really fun, especially if you like Minecraft and you like RPGs, I think for sure it's all everything you'd ever want. Um, it was looking... Go ahead. Oh. No, no. You... I was watching John Ironclade's team, or, um, the stream, and actually one of the developers came into his stream on Portal Knights. And said, oh, oh, nice. Thank you so much for playing our game. It was pretty cool. That's great. Yeah, John, uh, John Ironclade there in the chat, another one of the Geknip Gang streamers. You can see some Portal Knights gameplay on his channel. Uh, that's awesome. They paid a visit. That's great when that, uh, when that happens. That's always a nice boost to, uh, motivation and morale, you yeah. know? Scorch EXE has been wanting to play Steep. It's a great time to do it if you've got PlayStation. Scorch, do you play a uh, PlayStation or PC mostly? Anybody in the chat, really? What do you play on? Let us know. But um, yeah, Steep. We got Portal Knights this month, and there was a PS Vita game called Fallen Legion, I think. Unless I'm mixing up that title. Uh, Fallen something though. It's a PS Vita game. I got it on my PS4 because you can do that with some of them, and it's a pretty good little um, turn-based type RPG, like old school Final Fantasy style. And it's designed for Vita, so it's supposed to be a mobile game, and it is what it is, but it's still totally playable on the PS4, and not bad for that type of game. So, a pretty good lineup. And then there was, of course, two uh, PlayStation 3 titles and another PlayStation Vita title that wasn't available on the PS4. Um, let me see what those were really quick. Uh, Zone of the Enders HD Collection on PS3 plus Amplitude, and then the other Vita title was Super Mutant Alien Assault. I didn't get a chance to check those out, but they're going to they're gonna be discontinuing. This is the last year of PlayStation 3 and PS Vita titles being released as plus games. They're just, they're ceasing, they're not going to bother anymore, basically, with those. And I don't remember what month exactly those stopped being offered, but it's going to be sometime this year. This guy, this guy is hugging the freighter, like hugging it. I can't get a shot at him without risking everything. Ah, uh, get over here. There he goes. There he goes. Got him. <laughs> Tag your it. Sorry. I got some warp juice now. <laughs> some warp juice. There you go. I like it. Sweet. I'm. I, if you go to your galactic map, it'll actually show me a marker for me on your screen, uh, on your galactic map, and you can just fly to the system I'm in if you want. Man, I wish we had actually flown in formation for that one. You guys could have helped me in that battle. It would have been sweet. Maybe we should all fly together. <laughs> Battle formation. John says they were there for about an hour in his stream. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, also, free games this month. Xbox. Xbox Games with Gold has their January free games uh, for the Xbox players. And those games this month are... Can you tell? I wasn't ready. Uh, <laughs> we got Celeste. Oh, which was up for a lot of awards this year. Or last year. Celeste. Uh, also, WRC six is that a racer? I, would I think that's a racing game. Definitely get that if it's free. Yeah, and uh, Lara Croft Guardian of Light is available the first to the fifteenth, so get that one soon. That's only a half month, and then Far Cry two from the sixteenth to the thirty first. Uh, Far Cry five was pretty big last year. I know a lot of people in the Gecknip gang enjoyed that one. Yeah, WRC six is a racing game. FIA World Rally Championship. It's a racer. So there's your Xbox games with gold this month. Oh, Captain Tish is the captain of this freighter. <laughs> this Corvax's name is Tish. Hey, Tish. <laughs> Tish the dish. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Richard Huntington, Bone Junkie in the Gecknip Gang, did play a lot of uh, Celeste and streamed a bit of it, but I think he stopped because of copyright issues, actually. Ooh, 38 million. This A-class freighter just came into my life like a wrecking ball. 
compare it with mine. What am I rocking now? An A class? It's got more slots. It's got no. It's got the same amount of slots. I'm not going to spend 38 million for the same amount of slots, right? Same class? No. Why is it worth so much more though? It's bogus. <laughs> Anyway, I'm having freighter decision troubles. How's it going for Venuto Man right now? What are you doing uh, in the game? I just went to a system where Ivy Mike and Chaos Control discovered a couple planets. I was just checking out what they found. Excellent. Nice. And this system I was in was also... Oh, I don't know if it was previously discovered. I have to decline this freighter. Ooh, I have this to. is a big freighter. It's a big boy. Uh, Much bigger than mine. Did you get a freighter battle when you warped into this system? Nope. Oh, okay. I'm just uh, oh. hovering outside this freighter you're in. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a big one. I wonder what would happen if we warped in at the same time. Would we both get the same freighter battle, and would we both get an option to buy it afterward? I don't know if that's how that works. I had some glitches with that, but I did have... Ah! Oh, hey. <laughs> you almost landed on me, AC Gamer. <laughs> I have had that before where somebody else can yeah, choose a, a hazard. Oh, a wait, AC, AC, run up to the bridge and see if you can buy this thing. See if there's an option for you to buy it. I wonder if it'll let you. That'd be cool. How much was it? Sorry. I don't have enough money. Oh, it was 38 million, but you could, should still be able to just talk to the captain and get the option, even if you can't afford it. It should show you. If it's, if it's available, it'll show you the option. Otherwise, he'll just, like, generically talk to you. <laughs> laugh at you. No. Uh, parking is hard, Richard. Indeed. Uh, Venuto Man, sorry, what were you saying? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, we covered the free games, though. You got the same captain? That's good. Oh, let's uh, let's skip over. Let's save the upcoming for later. You had this game, uh, Vane. What's that, on the PlayStation? Um, what is this title? Yes. Hold on, let me tab out because I'm in a space battle. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I'm pulling it up. Uh, digital pre-orders available. It looks... Actually, I can play the trailer for this on the stream. I'm gonna play the trailer real it quick. It looks really cool, these two games that I posted. Go ahead, I'll... Let me turn the browser on. There, it's working. Now I don't know if it's working because I full-screened it and I can't see my preview. But watch this. Wow. Oh my Very, goodness. Like journey abzu kind of feel to it. Yeah, it looked a lot like those games. I like it. That looks uh that looks pretty dang good. Let's see what's the description. Um in a ruined desert a strange golden dust transforms a free-spirited bird into a determined young child, setting off a chain of events that will reshape the world itself. Holy cow. That's crazy. That's crazy. That was a nice trailer. That was a that's yeah. a very nice trailer. Games like that, I don't know, like Journey, Abzu, they're just so relaxing and just chill out and play. They are, yeah, absolutely. Very art house. <laughs> yeah. Very art house. And then uh, nice. After Charge, it seems pretty cool. I don't know if you got to check that one out at all. Uh, no, I haven't looked at it yet. Let's take a look. Where's that's the one right after it? Yeah. Ooh, they have a trailer too. Don't mind it. Should we play another trailer, y'all? Go 
Did you like that last trailer? Chat. Chat, did you like the trailer? Do you want to see another one? This is After Charge. Uh, oh, did I have it on the preview? I hope I had it on the right screen just now. Sorry if you guys were looking at just a uh, uh, thumbnail. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, let's see here. We got the window on the screen. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, it's like a top down, like a Marvel Ultimate Alliance a little bit. Oh no, first person view too. Wow, a little bit overwatchy. Frantic fun. <laughs> wow. A fresh take. After charge. Nice. Yeah, for one that one's is, looking pretty intense. Seems pretty cool. And they were saying, because you attack, so you take the role of invisible robots, sneak around to destroy the energy extractors. And then you yeah. defend, you take the role of the enforcer and shut down the robots to uh, protect the installation. So that seems kind of neat, the concept after all. Yeah. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of Overwatch in that trailer, though. That's very uh, FPS. -y. But th what does it switch between that three-quarter view and the first-person view, like depending on what you're doing in the game? I don't That'd know. That'd be an interesting that switch be. between those two. But I don't know if that was just like an overview look at something or what. Interesting. And that's called wait, what? After shock? After charge. After charge. Yeah. After charge. After. Nice. Charge. After charge. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hop away. I keep finding discovered systems. I need to land on brand new planets, though, for the com for the community. So I'm going to warp again for those playing along on PS4. If you want to join me in this system, feel free. There should be a marker in your galactic map if you're in-game with me, uh, Grammy and AC. Feel free to jump along. I'll do the same thing. My way. How's your hopping around going over there on PC? Ooh, that's a big freighter you're flying by. That's a big freighter. Oh, mine? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, this old thing? <laughs> <laughs> Shucks. Oh, I never did mute. Hopefully y'all haven't been hearing an echo out of Venuto Man stream. I never did mute that. Whoops. It's muted now. Oh. Just in case. <laughs> I think I had mine muted. Okay. I can't. <laughs> Dogakin. Oh, this is... Oh, Dogakin Rasp. This is a first contact. That's good. That's what we need. First contact for the community. No echo? They were hearing no echo. Did you guys... But did you hear his uh, game sounds? Maybe no, I'll I muted just... that on my end. Okay. Okay. So they haven't been hearing it anyway. Good to, good, good to go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Empty planet with ancient bones. Oh, AC, if you want to get rich, here's a spot to do it. These ancient cool. bones uh, sell really well. If you have a terrain manipulator. Bones. Oh, wait. AC Gamer, go, uh, go over. What was the process you had to go through to get your save updated, by the way? Oh, just it seems uh, like it was load, pretty quick. Yeah, just load up my single player game. And then oh. uh, I just waited till it auto saved and then I exited it out. Okay. You just have to save it once in the new iteration. Yep. Okay, okay. So that's an easy enough. I got to update my old saves then because I tried to join in on somebody on survival and I couldn't do it. I didn't know that's all you had to do to update though. These two twin planets, are they both lushes? Ooh. Oh, it's a moon. Is it two moons? What is it? It is. Starbulb and Starbulb. They look the same, and they're both... Uh, but that's a planet. It's a planet and a moon. They look like twins from here, though. 
It's crazy. How's that gonna happen? Anne Fran Tanan is the moon's name. <laughs> and Ushun 76S1. Oh, I was hoping that would have a rhymy name too. Anyway, what other news are we talking about? <laughs> uh, had oh, Nintendo. Yeah. Nintendo may stop making consoles. There was an interview in a Japanese financial newspaper with uh, Nintendo president Shuntaro Furukawa. He claimed it's possible that Nintendo could someday end all production on home consoles. While not officially declaring how far away the industry would be from having a nintendo list console market, Furukawa did say if the business uh, would benefit from doing so, Nintendo could remove themselves from hardware production entirely. So they're not not thinking about it. They're not not thinking about not making consoles. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that'd be something. Nintendo started the console wave, basically. They didn't start it. They brought it about into uh, the mainstream, though. Um, they've been around the whole time, practically. At least since I started gaming. I don't know about y'alls. That's what I first had when I was a kid. Yeah. So, oh, that'd yeah. be something. I don't know. I have to have a console that really... Hit, hit rock bottom, but even after the Wii, the Wii U, you know, they still came back with the Switch, which is a pretty massive hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Switch has been doing well. I'm actually, my game's freezing up. My game is freezing up. I'm going to join back on you, AC Gamer. It should let me. I'm, I'm frozen. Okay. Give me a second, y'all. But yeah, Nintendo's been doing really well with the Switch, but the Wii did uh, pretty horribly. Uh... Sorry, I'm distracted by the frozenness. <laughs> I wanted to talk about the Wii. The Wii didn't do that great as a system, but they're actually uh, one of the other items we had to talk about today was that uh, scalpers are selling the Wii out on eBay for like eight hundred dollars for a Wii U. <laughs> uh, according to Nintendo Soup, Wii U, the prede predecessor to the Nintendo Switch, was seen as one of the biggest failures in Nintendo history. Only doing better than the Virtual Boy. Do you guys remember the Virtual Boy? <laughs> no. I remember renting a Virtual Boy from Blockbuster Video to try it out. And we never did end up buying one. And I didn't really want one that bad after I played it for a weekend. But I played like tennis and some Asteroids type space fighter game on it, I think. Uh, that was my weekend with a Virtual Boy once. It was <laughs> but yeah, it was that system. That's another Nintendo system that it did not do well. Yeah. Uh, but Venuto Man's been into the VR lately. It's come a long way since the Virtual Boy, that's for sure. I don't know if you ever played one of those, V-Man. You know what? I saw but holy one cow. on eBay, now that I think of it. I oh my god, if you got one and streamed it, that would be amazing. I wonder <laughs> if you'd be able to. I bet with the right adapter. Because so I think good. it has the three, like, the red, uh, red, yellow, white cords. Yeah. But how those really things. <laughs> Can you do that? How oh my how gosh. Because, I mean, like, the screen is the Virtual Boy. It would have to go through something for the display to... The video, you just get a capture card with an HDMI adapter, right? That's what I was and, thinking. oh, I forgot to join in on AC Gamer. I gotta quit back out to main menu. But I mean, does, does, the, does it have, like, a video out? Because it's like basically like a big pair of goggles. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's interesting. You'd have to... Man, if you can find one cheap on eBay, though. It was You'd like, have to like bucks. either <laughs> hack it or like put a camera in one of the lenses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> um, bet, oh yeah, the Wii U though. Uh, it's going on. Let's see. Amazon prices for a brand new Wii U start at six hundred and fifty dollars. The eight gigabyte basic white set starts at around seven hundred dollars, while the not very popular Super Mario Maker set which comes with a copy of the game and Amiibo, goes for $650. Um, on the higher end of the spectrum are the new Super Mario Bros. U and Super Mario 3D World 32 gigabyte premium black sets running at $850 to $880. Wow. They sold for $300 when they were released and up to $350 when they were still being made. So they're, yeah, doubled in price. Yeah. Nice, I'm right back here. I'm right back where I crashed. I'm going to go to the planet, though. There's a portal showing up now on my on this planet. Hey, Productivity just joined in. Productivity, welcome to it. 
Yeah, grant me Shard Vixen. Sorry, I did crash. I'm joined back in on you now, though. Uh, Shard Vixen. I'm here. I'm here. Any collectors want a Wii U original? Mike Young, if you've got one and you don't want it, sell it on eBay, man. Now's the time. <laughs> Now's the time. Sounds like you can get a nice price for it. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're on Craigslist and stuff all the time. Huh. Hashtag make money fast. Oh, uh, what else? We got this uh, Overwatch scandal happening. You guys hear about this one? I had, I have. I've, I've been reading about it. It's pretty uh, wild. You wanna you wanna cover this article for us? You got that list up? Oh yeah. Let me uh, pull up the article. That way, I get all the facts to it. But I guess this player, there's an Overwatch player that's been rising the ranks of the competitive scene. But it turns out. Um, she wasn't actually playing. Oh, she... Cheating. <laughs> she wasn't actually the one playing. <laughs> As the Overwatch turns, Mike Young, yes. It's a very strange tale. Uh, so this was in the Contenders League, which isn't the Overwatch, uh, I guess, official league or something. Yeah. Uh, but it was for... One of the teams, they uh, put in like a last minute addition to their team named Ellie. Okay. And I guess it was pretty weird because no one had really heard of her before. And she was sort of a, you know, a dark horse player. Yeah. Um, oops, I pulled up the wrong article. Oh, great. I see you discovered a planet here, though. I the did. system that I'm we're looking in. for ancient bones. Nice. Oh yeah, that's the ancient bones planet. Great. They're a, a yellowish icon when you analysis visor scan. Just so you Carpentino know. Tino balls. Yeah, I've got a I've got a frenzied sentinel planet, but I haven't seen. It's probably gravitino balls on here, but I haven't seen why they're frenzied yet. But uh, anyway, the team kind of uh, drew a lot of attention, and people. Or, sorry, I hear a really bad echo of my voice. It's messing me up. Oh, it might be it might be me through here. Uh, try now. Uh, I think. Okay, now I don't hear it. Um, but anyway, let's see. What was the name of the team? They're called Second Wind, and um, yeah, people were, uh, I guess, complaining and suspecting that this Ellie wasn't. Uh, who they said they were. Um, I mean, it drew. They it definitely drew a lot of attention from trolls who said, "Like, oh, it's not a girl; it's someone else." Um, but then, yeah, a lot of people started, you know, looking at it with suspicion because, like, I guess she never like she never gave her real name, and she would never appeared on camera. Um, and people were saying, like, uh, you know, her voice didn't really sync up to, like, what she was actually doing in the game. So there was a, oh. a lot of people saying that it was probably, like, a someone using, like, a Smurf account. Someone that was, uh, like, already a professional player, like, um, yeah. know, just pretending to be someone else. Um, but uh, anyways, after, like, tons of complaints and like uh harassment to the team like they finally decided to or i guess they they, they said that she decided to step down um, oh. but so far uh no one really knows the truth of like what's going on no no one knows the truth of ellie that's weird that's oh my I goodness read. boy what a competitive scene they've got going on in overwatch <laughs> yeah i found Some the weirdest looking Two-legged beast here. Sorry. Yeah. No, go ahead. Some people are saying it's actually this other uh, pro player called Punisher. Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I don't know yeah. if you guys have the stream up, but did you see this? Did you see this uh, hind leg walking dog oh, yeah. thing I found? <laughs> Dog Boy the Hedgehog. He's got like hedgehog spikes coming out of his back. Uh. Sonic the Hedgehog spikes. Weird. Uh. Anyway. 
Overwatch. Anybody still playing Overwatch out there in the chat? I know we've had a few people in the Gecknip gang that played. When's the last time you played AC Gamer? I know you've played before. Uh, not in a while, actually. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll log on once in a while to check out whenever they drop a new character. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so far I haven't, uh, haven't played too much of it. The damn Sentinels found me. I have to shoot them. Shoot you, wow. Sentinels. <laughs> I had to kill the beast, too. I think he told the Sentinels about me. Game Mode, welcome to it. Thanks for joining us. Oh, no. I've caused trouble. There are, there are Gravitino Balls on this planet, though, I found out. That's why they're so hostile here. I got to get five planets for the community today. I'm just going to take off. I'm done on this one. I'm done. <laughs> Only cool game you liked was League of Legends, Mike Young. You never played the Overwatch? I never played League of Legends, did you? No, I haven't played that one. It's it's one of the ones that's been around for quite a while. It's always been like popular for streams, I know, on Twitch. Yeah. But I never did play it myself. Kendall Southwick, thanks for joining us uh, this morning. We'll catch you later on. No launch thruster fuel. It's the mother of MOBAs. Yeah, the mother of MOBAs. <laughs> I remember when we were uh, playing Smite back in the day. That was kind of fun. Speaking yeah. of MOBAs. Uh, do you think uh, the... MOBA is going the way of the dinosaur. I mean, Battle Royale seems like it's going to be sticking around for a while. It seems like, oh shoot, I didn't mean to fly to space and get this spacecraft after me. Maybe what am I doing? VR, there's tons of Battle Royales going on with different games. Are there really? Have you played many in VR? How are they? Uh, Rec Room, which is, it kind of has a kiddish theme to it, but there's yeah. so many mini games in it, and there's, um, there's some Battle Royales in that, and it's, it's pretty fun. I have a good time with it. Movement is a little hard. I like free movement where some people jump movement and ah. it just makes it difficult. Huh. Interesting. But, um, I think I ditched the Sentinels. I think I ditched them by flying back into the atmosphere. I think I'm good. If you guys check out Echo Arena or Echo Combat, that is by far the best battle experience in VR you will ever have. It's insane. Nice. <laughs> Straight from the... From V Man the VR Man. VR <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh man, that Beat Saber. I, I'm still tempted. It's on PSVR now. I really should look into and it. PSVR I think it'd be really fun to play. Get a lot of songs. They're gonna make sure to dedicate a bunch of songs exclusively to PSVR, just because PC can do whatever they want song-wise. They feel yeah. like they need to give more songs to PSVR that are <laughs> to make up for it. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> Because uh, it would be easier for me to go PSVR than, than full-blown VR, I think. Yeah. And you know what? I I thought that PSVR was, like, not that good. But really, the tracking, everything on it is really nice. You can't do a room scale kind of setup. But for yeah. what their games are and the VR that they offer, it's really nice. I'm kind of waiting for a uh, full-blown next-generation deck before I get into VR, you yeah. know? I'm just waiting for a hundred years from now. <laughs> you might have some waiting uh, to do on that one. Yeah. Productivity says he pre-ordered the new Planetside Arena. It starts with a VR game mode as well as 250 versus 250 and one other game mode, but he forgot. The 250 v 250 sounds insane. That's oh man, can you imagine a oh like gosh. a Fortnite match with 250? In VR. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Young always wanted PSVR, but never saw a game he really wanted to play. Yeah, Mike Young, that's the boat I was in, but I, Beat Saber might be the one to make me actually try it out finally. And they're Beat Saber might just do it. They're equating Beat Saber, like, when you really play vigorously, they're equating Beat Saber to the same as a uh, swimming laps and a pool. The exercise. Wow. Yeah, it looks. I, I've seen you play. It's got. It's got to get your blood pumping for sure. The way you have to up, down, left, right those things <laughs> in the right order. I got a heartbeat monitor, and oh wow! I mean, I think my one crazy song was up to one sixty six on my heart rate. Oh geez. So I mean, you're getting up there. Yeah, that's a good workout. Man. Gaming and exercising all at once. Oh, Grammy, no worries. Feel free, Grammy. Just explore as you like. That's There's no real agenda here other than checking out the Gecknip Gang Hub while we chat about the news. So, 
whatever you want to explore. And Grammy, if you find anything really super cool, be sure to let us know, either here in the chat or post pics in the Discord. Um, and I'd like to come check it out if you find something really off the wall, like out there. That'd be great. <laughs> oh, he meant BR. Oh, Battle Royale, not VR. Okay, sorry, oh. Productivity. I thought I thought he was talking VR. He meant Battle Royale. That's my bad. I, I auto-corrected incorrectly. Sav Jazz, welcome to it. So you VR. Got... Got your... So what now? I was say you got the Game Developers Awards 2019. Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about Jack Black first, and oh, then we'll talk about yeah, those Game Awards. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about Jablinski yeah. Games? <laughs> his first video. And yeah. Then, boom, his subscribers launch. I mean, he was, what, at a million within a week. Yeah. Oh, wait, he lost subscribers after his first vid? No, no, no. I'm I didn't saying, notice that. I'm saying he was at a million, like, within a week. Yeah. He was... Yeah. Oh, yeah, his very first video. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And then two million just insanely fast. Yeah. I'm sure so, that happen with any celebrity, but still. Just to fill everybody in, though, Jack Black, um, celebrity Jack Black, who you may have seen in movies and television, uh, has started a gaming channel on YouTube, Jablinski Gaming. And, of course, there's links for all this stuff in our Discord server. Uh, link in the description for that. I just found a tiny little beetle crab. It's gross. I want to squish him. No, not really. I want to take a photo. Oh, here's his mother. Oh, look at... I haven't seen crabs like this before. They're so shelled up. <laughs> shelled up. <laughs> I like that. And they got little antenna. Antennae. Oh, my. Hey, little crabby. Um, sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, Jack Black's doing a gaming channel now. He's put out his his first video was like a hello, I'm going to do this video where he was just sitting in his game room, like in his house or whatever and playing around in his gaming chair like a dork. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then his he put out his first video. He says he's going to be doing videos every Friday. And his first one was uh, the Pinball Hall of Fame in Vegas. He went there and was just showing off a bunch of old school like pinball games and old machine type games, which was kind of cool. Yeah. It's just basically Jack Black doing vlogs about games, being himself, which is just... He's entertaining to watch for me. I like to watch that guy do stuff. I thought he was going to be in front of a computer playing, like, Counter-Strike or some kind of game like that. I did not expect... I thought he was... Yeah, I was thinking it was going to be live streams, actually. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I'll take some, I'll take some silly game-related vlogs from Jack Black. That might be all right. <laughs> There's no problem. Uh, I saw Shard Vixen died. I hope you're alright out there, Shard Vixen. I don't know what happened. He died. Upload this crab. Upload this plant. Get off this planet. A lot of celebrities are getting in on the YouTube game. Yeah, it's easy to be a gamer on YouTube when you're already famous with a yeah, built-in exactly. fan base that wants to see whatever you do. Yeah. The Arge guy, welcome to it. He's going to try to join in now. Nice, nice, nice. Come along. Big, Big Willie Smith has been big on YouTube lately. Sorry, who? Will Smith. Oh, oh really? He's, I didn't I didn't know that. He's what is he doing? Like live streams or edited videos or just vlogging. Oh, nice. Okay. I mean, Not a, video games. It's a lot of money to be made. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube uh enables a lot of uh independent well, mostly. I mean, it's dependent on YouTube, of course, but you know what I mean. It lets you do kind of whatever you want within certain restrictions. You know, you don't got to Logan Paul it up, but <laughs> you can do stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, these Game Developer Awards 2019. There's another awards thing coming out. Guess who's on the list for best game? Red Dead Redemption 2. You know it. <laughs> also, God of War. Let's see. I don't know about that. Uh, let me read this. Let me read up on this for you. The Game Developers Choice Awards has revealed its nominees for the 19th annual ceremony, which will take place on March 20th. As expected, some of the most high-profile releases from 2018 made the cut, nabbing multiple nominations in categories like Best Narrative, Best Visual Art, and, of course, Best Game. Rockstar Games' Red Dead Redemption 2 leads the charge with seven nominations, coming off a very successful first few months of release. The Western sequel has been lauded by critic, uh, critics, groups, and gaming publications across the board and also took home the lion's share of trophies from the Game Awards. The lion's share, yeah. Didn't it, though? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, God of War and Marvel's Spider-Man not far behind with six nominations, uh, two PS4 exclusives that made major splashes in the early and late 2018, respectively. 
Uh, two great games also, if I do say so. Let's see. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man getting some good attention. That's great. Other titles getting recognition from the Game Developers Conference voters include Return of the Obra Dinn, Celeste, and Tetris Effect, which I've seen um, a guy, ZW Game Master, has been doing some Tetris Effect, which is a VR title. I don't know if it's only PS4, though, V-Man. No, I think uh, it's for PC. Titles. That'd be cool if Celeste won best game over the AAA titles. I think that would be nice to see. Jolly to see. Lovely to see. Um... Some other categories, things are nominated for Best Audio, Celeste is in there, Red Dead, God of War, Spider-Man, Tetris Effect, uh, Best Debut, Poly Arc, uh, Mountains, Nomada Studio, Villa Gorilla, and Sabotage. I haven't heard of any of those games, actually. They've got Best Design Categories, Best Mobile Game, uh, they've got the Innovation Award, and Best Narrative Best Technology, Best Visual Art, Best VR AR Game. We got Budget Cuts in there, Beat Saber, of course, Budget Tetris cuts. Effect, Moss. Oh, Moss is a VR game, I guess. And Astrobot Rescue Mission from VR for Best VR Games. And then Game of the Year is Red Dead Redemption 2, Return of the Obra Dinn, Spider-Man, Celeste, and God of War. So, yeah, good luck to the indie titles in this one. There's been... They just do a whole slew of award shows, like, in, in succession, it seems like. And so, whoever wins this one, good luck to them. Maybe it'll be Celeste. That'd be nice. Indie titles, you know? No indie. No ongoing game or labor of love category in this award show, though. That's too bad. No Man's Sky could have had another chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, AC Rivera's messing with biological horrors over there. Uh, yeah. Where are you? Are you in my system? I'm on a Let plane. me land here. Well, I'm going to land and take off and come find you. Do you need help? You going to die? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah, I just need to get this um, planet discovered. Oh, painfully hot rain here. Ouch. And it's raining. Innsboro. Oh, okay, I'm safe. Innsboro. Oh, You're safe? You want me to come fly to you? No, it's okay. I'll just leave okay. these biological horrors in the dust. <laughs> All right. I was looking for Sounds good. It's the Arch guy. Have you found any yet? I haven't. Oh, the Arch guy joined you on PC? Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Um, have you been using your visor scanner and looking for those yellow icons? Yeah, I have. Nothing, nothing okay. doing so far. Uh, I'll come help you look for some ancient bones then. There's a lot of donuts on this planet that I'm flying through. Nice. Actually, there's one more planet I should hit in this system, and then I'll come to that one. That'll work, because I'm still trying to do the community dailies. People can land on your freighter and come with you, right? Yeah, I believe so. Guy, I've never actually you. done it, you can come with me, but I I'm believe so. To, uh, name another system. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. So that brings us to uh, a look at what's coming up. We've got that Metacritic link in the newsroom on the Gecknip Gang Discord server. Thanks to all those that have joined us this morning. Uh, we're doing Jolt. We're doing a Game News Gamecast. We're talking about Game News while we play this week, No Man's Sky. Oh, well, actually, we talked about doing this, what, monthly or twice a month, Venuto Man? Yeah. Possibly. If we can get more oh, yeah. people to kind of join in. Yeah, but just to fill you in, uh, this is a, uh, AC Gamer and I, who AC Gamer's here with us as well. Uh, we've done Jolt in the past. That's why this is episode 49, actually, AC. We just uh, went ahead and kept on with the numbering. Uh, we used to do Jolt on my channel, Gaming Mike's channel, uh, but we decided to move it over here to the Gecknip gang and sort of hopefully try to get the uh, community a little more involved. And thanks to Shard Vixen and the Arge guy uh, for jumping in here with us and helping us explore the Gecknip gang hub. Uh, it's a lot of fun having multiple people in at the same time, just kind of discovering things. The little pop-ups that come up, like AC Gamer just found a new rock. I love it. It's a nice update to have. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Mike Young says glad that he restarted Jolt after AC got out of prison. Finally, yes, yes, <laughs> finally out of prison. He's back with us. Uh, Tricky, Tricky finally joined us. Good, Tricky. I was hoping you would uh, catch us today. We are doing Jolt again. We're doing it here on the Gecknip Gang channel now, and it's it's good stuff. I think it's good stuff. Uh, we of course the Gecknip Gang plays many games, and Jolt isn't necessarily always going to be. Uh, no Man's Sky stream. We might play other games on a given 
episode, but uh, we've always got the Gecknip Gang Hub region of space to fall back on and No Man's Sky here for us. Uh, if there's nothing else that tickles our fancy, but we've got people in the Gek Nip Gang playing uh, Destiny 2 pretty actively. I think that'd be a good Jolt episode sometime to have like Reaper and Irv Sauce uh, and some of those others uh, do a Jolt from Destiny. That'd be fun. Uh, things like that. So if you're not already in the Discord server with us, feel free to join us. We're over there just having some fun playing some video games. Wouldn't you say, fellas? <laughs> Paul, what a, uh, oh, no, I don't want to do that yet. What is your game of the week right now? Or game of the, what have you been playing lately, I guess? Honestly, my top game right now is 100% Pokemon Go. I can't get enough of it. Nice. <laughs> Feel free to let us know in the chat, too. Or if you're watching in the future, leave us a comment. Tell us what games you're into. But, yes, I've been playing. I can't get enough of Pokemon Go, man. I just want to, even when I can't, like today it's snowing like mad here, and I don't, I'm not actually going to go outside, but I really want to. I might go outside later, I don't know. But it's, I've been, the last few weeks have been kind of clear here, really cold, but the weather's been mild other than that, and so I've been getting some real good Pokemon Go walks in. I've been catching some great stuff. <laughs> I love it. Um... <laughs> I've also been playing No Man's Sky, though. I've been getting really back into No Man's Sky. I've been doing my permadeath run on my channel, trying to get that trophy in the center of the galaxy on PS4, finally. Um, it's going well so far. So, And then Star Citizen, of course. We've done a few runs, uh, me and you, V-Man, v and um, Ivy Mike and Bone Junkie and the Gek Nip Gang also playing Star Citizen. That's been a lot of fun. I like doing that. Fun. I'm definitely going to stream that Wednesday, I think. Nice. That'll be awesome. Mike Young's been playing Darkest Dungeon. And uh, Scorch EXC says, how are the trainer battles in Pokemon Go? They're all right. Uh, there's PvP now in uh, Pokemon Go. You can battle other trainers with your Pokemon, which I like. The thing I like about it is it gives you a reason to have not just maxed out super powerful Pokemon because they have these battle tiers in Pokemon Go now. Um, so you can use some of your weaker stuff and they're actually useful for something now. It gives you an excuse to pay attention to the not best stuff <laughs> so that's really nice about it but you've got like it's kind of a daily goal thing if you do your three battles a day plus one against an npc then you can get prizes for those so it's 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 basically a daily mission they've made out of the pvp um which is fine it, it's got me logging in more often i've been battling with chavo a lot in the get nip gang uh so yeah the, the trainer battles are good they're not they're nothing mind-blowing, but they're good. They're good. I just found my first waypoint uh, since I've been playing. It's a platform. I'm going to call it Jolt number 49 platform in honor of today's episode. <laughs> nice. Productivity says he's been playing a lot of modded arc. Oh, nice. Which is really fun, actually. I, I definitely like that as well. Is it modded to be pirates and called Atlas? You might be able to play pirates, <laughs> and I don't know. There's some crazy mods they, they can add into that game. Yeah, how long has Ark been out now? A couple of years, right? Uh, yeah, a while now. Jolt number 49 platform. What have you been playing Done. lately, uh, AC? Uh, I've been mostly down with um, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on oh, Nintendo Switch. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. That looks cool. I've been playing a ton of that. I did play that a little bit on New Year's with AC Gamer, actually. That was quite a lot of fun. It's Smash Brothers is just as fun as it ever was. I haven't played it since a little bit on the GameCube, but it's still going strong. How many characters are there now? Uh, <laughs> so many? It looks like there's a... I think there's 72 in total. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I remember playing that on N64. That was all... Oh, that was good times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, the Arge guy says, can you see other players on the galactic map? In PS4 you do. P uh, Venuto Man, I don't know what your settings are set to. Make sure your marker is visible I to... I could see him, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. And I obviously have been playing a buttload of Beat Saber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've been tearing it up on the Beat Saber. A couple other VR titles too, right? Um, I'll play Echo Arena occasionally. And then there's there's a few other VR titles, but nothing really equates to the same thing. Nothing really matches it. Just you feel, okay, I've recorded myself 
without anything, you know, you, no music, and you're just a person moving your arms, you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you look completely just idiotic. But, uh, when you're yeah, your setup with that is really nice. When you're in the game, and especially the mixed reality, if you take out the sabers and the mixed reality, you look dumb. When in yeah, you're just waving your hands around. You just look cool. <laughs> look like a rave dancing warrior from the future. Uh, <laughs> I got space battles. These pirates are after me. Lucky charms, y'all. I'm alright. AC, are you still in the system? Come fight him with me. Uh, I might have found some bones. Oh, get them there. Never mind. Get your bones. You'll get rich. AC needs some money. Uh, uh, what were we talking about, though? I got distracted by these pirates. Sorry. I was just going to say, the one you mentioned, budget cuts. That's that's an amazing game. For In a VR title, that is a pretty incredible game. Yeah. Nice. What else does chat say about what they've been playing? Oh, Kevy, I've discovered this. Where was the undiscovered? Oh, I'm, I'm also back on the Bloodborne train. I'm oh, really? Gonna, How's that? I, I'm pretty close to the end, I believe. Yeah. But the game just won't let me uh, forget that, and so it's really punishing me. <laughs> oh, yeah. For, for well... To even think about completing it. You must persevere. Um, but I really want to play uh, Dark Souls 3. And uh, From Software in March has their next game coming out called Sicario. Shadows Die Twice. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice. And that one looks like a whole lot of fun. But I don't I don't feel like I have the, the right to, to play it un until I can beat Bloodborne. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh, Mike Young's going to be playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey soon. Nice, nice, nice. I know Savjazz played through that on his channel. I've seen some of it there. Looks like a good one. Uh, let's see. What do we got coming up for releases in the coming weeks, though? We have Megalith releasing on January 8th. Let's see. What, what info can I see about this? From Disruptive Games on PS4. Uh, Megalith. We've got LEGO DC Super Villains Aquaman Movie Pack coming out also on PS4. Oh, and it's on PC, X, uh, Switch, and Xbox One as well. Um... Let's see, Tales of Vesperia releasing on PlayStation 4, PC, Switch, and Xbox on the 11th of January. And that game, Vain, we took a look at the trailer earlier today in the stream, coming out January 15th on the PS4. That one's a journey-type, uh, um, Abzu-type exploration. What do you call those games? What are they called? What's their genre? Um, chill. <laughs> a chill game, yeah. Uh, there's one called Smoke and Sacrifice coming out on all platforms January 15th. Absolver? Wait a second. Oh, it's coming out on Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Absolver was already out. That was a PlayStation Plus 3 game. Is this an expansion? Is this a DLC? Hold on. I need to dig deeper into this Absolver business. Ten hours remaining till release. What? Is this Jolt Cola channel? <laughs> Jolt Cola, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just releasing on Xbox, but it says Absolver's coming out. And then After Charge, we, we saw that uh, trailer as well. That's coming out January 10th. Is that all platforms? Or, let's see. Oh, PC, Switch, and Xbox. No PlayStation on that. According to Metacritic. Nice. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Some stuff to look forward to. I'm going to keep playing some No Man's Sky and doing my permadeath and doing my community missions in the coming weeks. Complicated Mike, welcome to it, by the way. What is your guys' uh, game of 2018? My favorite? Yeah, Beat Saber. <laughs> no hesitation. Uh, for, story, for story, I think it was Red Dead. Although Spider-Man was such a good story, too. And so was God of War. But for story, okay, I'll say this. For story and playable depth, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. That was the best story with the most gameplay, I think. God of War was a really good story, but it was a lot shorter. Um, Spider-Man was kind of in the middle as far as playtime, and also a really, really great story. 
Well, I'm going to give Red Dead Redemption the title personally just because of how much game there was. There was a lot. A lot. What about you? Um, Red, Dead, Red Dead is up there, but I think God of War just squeaks by barely as my top game. Yeah. Such a compelling story. God of War was, it had its hooks in me the whole time. Like, I wanted to see that one play out big time. Yeah. I, I feel like um, Red Dead was, you know, just such a huge and massive game. Yeah. But I think God of War still had a very, you know, tight and concise experience. You know. Yeah, it did. It did. It was very linear, but in a good way. It was a big, fat, marbled steak of goodness. Whereas, <laughs> Juicy. Whereas, yeah, whereas Red Dead was like a, a, a big, multi-course meal. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, how about you? Oh, Venuto Man said Beat Saber, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's um, much it. Game of the Year 2018 for productivity was Stellaris. All right. Not bad. Oh, did I just finish my community mission? I did. Oh, look. I've done my community stuff. Perfect. I did it for Jolt. I did it for the community. 250 Quicksilver and a visit from the Anomaly. Let's see. How's PS4 doing on the community? I know we unlocked Tier 1. I don't think we've unlocked Tier 2 yet. I'm going to go check out the Quicksilver rewards. But, uh... Who else in the chat? Uh, the Arge guy loved Just Cause because balloons. Yes. Uh, Just Cause 4 was very fun to play through. A good story. It wasn't super meaty, but it was so much. It was like going to see an action flick in the movies. It left me with the same comparative feeling to other games. Like It was like really good action movie. I enjoyed watching it. It didn't have a lot of depth, but it was damn fun. It was just way fun. <laughs> just Cause 4 was a hoot. Um, Mike Young says Red Dead Redemption 2 also, but he didn't play the story. He just likes roaming around, right? It's good. Uh, Red Dead has such a big scope to it. The map is so huge and it feels so vast and old westy. Right? Big. It's huge. Tricky says Red Dead for them as well. The Long Roger just subscribed on the Gecknip Gang channel. Welcome to it, Long Roger, with your new account. Uh, Long Roger, of course, we're familiar with. Thanks for subbing to the GNG channel. Thanks for tuning in to Jolt. Uh, do, do you fellas... Oh, yeah, we've got Tier 1 unlocked. How's PC doing on the community missions, Benuto Man? If you can pull that up. Just the progress bar. We're in Tier 2. 81% done with Tier 2. There's three days left. I hope Tier 3 requirements are not too big. Not too big. We did unlock these lovely plants, though, on PlayStation. The terrarium is next. Oh, PC completed tier two says complicated. It's in the uh, log screen. Oh, okay. The community research mission. Yeah, sorry. That's like, I don't know. <laughs> you have to page over to the left. It's at the top of the uh, secondary missions. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. And then community research. Oh, there. Okay. So, the, yeah, you guys are into Tier 3 over there on PC. Nice. Well done. So, you have your Terrarium unlocked. You can buy it if you have the Quicksilver. Ooh. Kind of weapon. Oh, look at this little pistol that I found on the... It's a C-Class Neutron Blaster. It's cute. It's got seven cute. slots and it's adorable. <laughs> what a cute multi-tool. <laughs> ton of navigation data. Um, did you find Ancient Bones, though? I'm going to fly your way. I found a Ancient Bone. Just one. What What color was the icon? Like, uh, purple, blue, gold? It was gold. Oh, that's the best kind. <laughs> you got the best kind of treasure. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, any, anything else to cover today, uh, the, uh, in this episode, fellas? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think that was... That was pretty well covered. Excellent. Well, it's it's real nice to be back doing Jolt again. And, uh, yeah, we could probably pull this off twice a month, I reckon. Yeah. At least. So. Of course, we've got other hosts in the Gecknip Gang community that have done community streams before that may end up hosting some. Um, but 
all of that's in the Discord. We'll just organize it all there, figure it out there, and make it happen. Not so bad, yeah? That ought to do. Uh, but thanks to everybody who tuned in t today to the Gecknip Gang channel. Hopefully you're already subscribed. If not, you can remedy that by hitting that subscribe button right by the video. Don't forget to thumbs it up while you're there if you enjoyed the game news today. And if you join us in the Discord, you can share links to news articles you would like to cover in future episodes. We have the Newsroom channel now in the Gecknip Gang Discord server. If you come across any interesting news articles, feel free to leave a link there. We've got the community player channel for chatting about what's going on as well. Uh, so be sure to check all that out. There's a link in the description to our Discord. And there's also links to our host's uh, YouTube channels today. we got AC Gamer, Venuto Man, and myself, Gaming Mike. Links to all of our channels in the description as well. Uh, please do feel free to visit those if you, if you feel like it. <laughs> so I don't want to tell you what to do, but if you want to do that, I wouldn't complain. Hey. Uh, thanks very much, AC Gamer and Venuto Man, for joining me, and thanks to everybody that tuned in. Pimp and Plays at the last minute. Welcome to it. Hey, it's Pimpin'. Thanks for coming along. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, and then what, what else did we do, AC Gamer? We would give, like, a final thought and be done? <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. Something like that. All right, final thoughts, gentlemen? Uh, uh, video games are fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> video games are fun. Venuto Man? I'm, I'm with him. I'm with him. All right, well, I'm with you both. Thanks to everybody that helped us explore the Gecknip Gang Hub. Keep exploring out there, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I love you. <laughs> Later. Man, you are kidding. These bone fragments are worth a lot. <laughs>